When spectating a game of League of Legends, there's plenty of information on the screen. But let's take a look at the visual elements used on the screen during the broadcast. And to start things off, let's take a look at Fog of War. So here's the game how it would look from C9 Sneaky's point of view. He can only see things that him and his team reveal, and he has no idea what is waiting for him in this bush. And as we roll the clip, we're gonna find out that it's actually Samsung's ambition that is camping out in that bush, and you do not have vision into the brush unless you have a ward in there or an allied team. Now, as we roll back a clip, this is how it would look for you watching on a regular broadcast. You have vision enabled for both sides, so you can see clearly that ambition is lying in wait here for Sneaky, and as we roll the clip once more, we get to see poor Sneaky die a second time here, as if once wasn't enough. But it's very important to know that this is not how most players play the game. So, you know, when you're playing at home, it's gonna look a little bit different, but uh, we get the advantage of being able to see everything during the broadcast. And next, we are gonna be able to take a look at the top of the scoreboard where there is a ton of important information for you guys to track here. Starting off with, of course, uh, the team tricodes. That is simply the team's names in this game. It is the Rocks Tigers and SK, SK Telecom T1 who were playing against each other. And then Gold. This one is extremely important. Gold is going to give you a good idea of which team is more powerful at any given time, which team is ahead. Uh, you get gold from killing minions, monsters, from taking turrets, as well as killing champions. And then, of course, game time next will track when certain objectives are going to spawn, as well as just how long into the game we are. And then kills is going to be how many champion kills each team has achieved. And that can give you a good idea of who is winning the fights, but not always who is winning the game as a whole, because objectives are very important. And speaking of those, we next have turrets. Turrets are important defensive structures, which must be taken down to win a game of League of Legends. And as you do take those down, you gain more map control as well as some of that all important gold. The first turret that you do take down is gonna give you a nice chunk of bonus gold and that can be very important to getting ahead in the game. And then of course, last but not least, we do have the series score, which you're gonna wanna track throughout the games tonight. Next, we will briefly touch on dragons. And as you can see here in the top left, we have the next dragon spawn. This time it's gonna be Infernal, which is one of four different types of dragons. They respawn every six minutes and will give you game-long bonuses, such as increased damage from the nice Infernal dragon or increased health and mana regen. Lots of great bonuses and the teams are gonna be looking to fight over those objectives. And then next we will be going on to the side of the screen where we have the champion portraits. As you can see here in the top, that is Trundle. You can see that nice little square where it does show each champion's face. Summoner spells are powerful abilities selected at the start of each game. They generally have pretty long cooldowns and are chosen by players there. Next is gonna be the ultimate ability. That will be unlocked at level six by each player and are generally very powerful abilities with much longer cooldowns. So tracking the cooldowns here on the side of the screen will let you know who's in a position to win a fight and who might be on that losing side. Champion level next, also very important because not only does each level unlock new abilities, it increases the damage from those abilities and also gives you a lot of extra stats. So you're gonna be doing more damage, be tankier, very, very important stuff. And then of course, HP and mana, everyone knows this. If you do play video games, when your health hits zero, you have died, the other team has taken you down. And of course, mana, you need it to cast spells, going to be very important, especially in the early game. And then now as we take a look here down at the bottom of the screen, we have the scoreboard. The scoreboard is going to be tracking the status of the individual players as well as the overall game. So we have the champion icons from top to bottom. It will be top lane, jungle, mid lane, AD carry, then support. We have these numbers here, which are referred to as creep score or CS commonly throughout the cast. That's going to give you an idea of how many minions or monsters players have killed throughout the game, and that's gonna be something that really feeds into how much gold these players have to then buy items. KDA simply is the kills, deaths, and assists achieved for each player, which can be a good idea of how well those players are doing in the game. And then of course there are item builds here, and as we are at the start of a game right now, they don't have a lot of items, but as the players get more powerful, collect more gold, they're gonna have more items and more of them that are, are very, very strong. So. Uh, more completed items, the stronger you get. And last, but certainly not least, we do have the mini-map here in the bottom right. And the really important thing to note about the mini-map is while we may be watching, say, the bottom lane, or in this case, we're right now watching the jungle, you can track where players are moving throughout the map by looking here. You can also see the objectives such as the turrets and the ultimate golden nexus, which has to be killed to win a game. But as we're watching mid lane here, you can see that perhaps 
uh, the red side jungler is sneaking around towards the bot lane. That's something you may want to track because that can give you a heads up on where action could be coming next.